Hello me butterflies, it's Nobby. Welcome or welcome back to another video here on the channel. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss when I upload a video. And guys, I am back with some more sneak peeks for Dress to Impress. I'm not sure if anything is going to change, but keep that in mind, it could um, change, you know, when it comes out. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and start right off the bat with what Dress to Impress posted on their X account. And they are looking for masculine, like, face and makeup artists. So if you're an artist and you make, like, masculine faces, or just make faces, but you, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Um, I would highly recommend going to Dress to Impress X page and, you know, getting in contact with them because they are looking for masculine makeup artists. So this actually means that we may be getting masculine like more masculine things like faces of course um i mean that's exciting because i really feel like we need more masculine things not only are they looking for masculine face artists but they're also looking for 3d modelers so if you're a modeler 3d modeler you know how to make clothing and all that fun stuff then go to dress to impress and fill out that application that they have linked on that post owen aka moto princess did ask on his ex saying what accessories do you guys want in Dress to Impress? I'm allowed to make very few, very detailed items like my synth and crown after I finished all my maps. And a lot of people requested, like, a lot of things. He did say antlers are on his list, and someone responded with an inspo photo, and he said, I was thinking this, oh my god. So, maybe we're gonna be getting antlers? Maybe? But this photo that this person posted as the inspo photo, if we get antlers like this, that is gonna be, like, the coolest thing ever. The, like these antlers look so so cool so i kind of hope we do get antlers because if we do i'm gonna be very happy in my last few videos i did show like the lobby like you know a few photos of the lobby it wasn't the full thing but guys we now have the full photo of the lobby it is stunning guys it is stunning i love all the detail in the lobby and again i don't know if things will change like when the halloween update comes out but i kind of hope it doesn't because i think it's very pretty how it is but you know hey if it changes it changes i'm not the developer i don't got a say but i think the lobby is beautiful owen did say if you are worried about the lag there probably won't be like a lot of lag unless you use high graphics with a laggy device then you probably will have some issues but other than that you should not have any problems and I just like how they try to make the maps not laggy, but make it look this good. Like, I say it every single time. These developers, these modelers are so freaking talented. Like, I will, I will say it like a hundred freaking times. I don't care. Over on the Dress to Impress Discord server, Owen did post the difference with like the lobby in daylight time and nighttime. In my opinion, I would think it would be so cool to have like a day and night cycle in Dress to Impress. But I don't know if they're gonna do that and I kinda wish they would because I think it looks good in like both day and night. But the night makes it more spooky, so you know, maybe them going for the nighttime one will, you know, be spooky for Halloween. But I think both look amazing. Um and they also posted a poll saying, Would you like to see this lobby after Halloween ends but redecorated for a few updates until we want to add a new one or have a new lobby every major update? And the options are for redecorated lobby every season until a new one is made, for a new lobby ever, every major update, winter, summer, Halloween. Honestly, I would love this lobby to stay until they make a new one because... I feel like this fits, like, any season, like, especially when it's daylight. Now, when it's nighttime, yes, it's, you know, gives off Halloween, but daytime, I feel like it could be used for any season. So, with the whole Lana lore, and we all know we're getting more with this Halloween update, we have a photo of this, like, medical center. It looks very spooky, and I'm kind of scared, like, looking at it, but, like, there's a photo like, if you can see that, there's like a photo in the corner on the left, and then there's like a fallen plant. 
Um, I'm not really sure, like, what is gonna happen with this. Um, I'm assuming there's gonna be like a quest here, but it looks cool but also scary at the same time. <laughs> For those who haven't seen the official trailer for the Halloween update, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys because, y'all, it is so cool and, oh my gosh. Let me just show you guys. So it looks like we're getting a witch's broom and possibly a witch an actual witch's hat so we don't have to do the hack anymore. I don't know if this is true, or if it's just, you know, being used for the trailer. But if we do get a witch's, like, an actual witch's hat and a broom, then I'm actually going to scream of happiness because that is cool. And I want it. But, like, also the logo, like, the Halloween logo looks so cool. And the transition at the end where it's, like, the old one or, like, you know, the non-Halloween one and it glitches to the Halloween one is just so cool. I feel like I'm just rambling. I could ramble. I can I can just go on and on and on. Honestly, but everything looks so cool. Well guys, that is all I have for today's video. If there's anything else that comes up, like any more sneak peeks that I see, of course I will let you guys know right away because you know I'll be back if there's anything else. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss when I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye my butterflies.